Hello, everyone. So we have now 2024 Metcans uh, National Sprint uh, Run number 29. So we have uh, square terms and uh, we have some absolute value as well. So what we want is the total length, right, of the graph of the given equation. So like, since we have the absolute value, maybe it's better to start with the cases. I'm gonna start with X is larger than zero and Y is larger than zero, since that's easier to deal with first. Um, and if I do this, uh, you will get X squared plus uh, Y squared plus 54. And uh, equals 18x plus 18y, since x and y positive. So since we have the square term as well as the linear terms of each um, variable, so maybe it's good to complete square. So let's combine those together. So I will get x squared minus 18x. And I will leave some space plus y squared minus 18y. And then I will subtract 54 from both sides. So you will get minus 54. <clears throat> and now we can just uh, complete the square. So since this is one, the coefficient, so we can just divide this by two, which is negative nine. And I will square that to get the perfect square. So I will add 81 to both sides. And the same for the, the y term. So I will get 81 here as well. And now we have the these three terms is the same as x minus nine to the second power. And then these three terms is y minus nine uh, squared. Since if you add these guys, you get 108. And this is the, the equation that we have actually for a circle. So, so for that reason, we can just say the, the center of the circle is equal to like nine, but just a reminder, the equation of circle is this form, x minus h squared and y minus k squared is equal to the square of the radius. And then where the h comma k, which is the, the values after the minus sign, is our x and y values for the, the center of the, the circle. And then the radius, the second power. So meaning that uh, based on this, we can easily say the, the center of the circle is nine comma nine. And the radius of the circle is the square root of 108. And which I can say this is six root three. Okay, so, but how this is gonna be helpful, maybe we can draw like, uh, like we can graph the, the circle just to see how that looks like, but it is not really obvious um, before you look at the numbers carefully to see how graph will be look like. So for that reason, I'm gonna just go ahead and start with drawing the circle. Okay, so let's say this is my circle. And what we also know, the, the center of the circle is nine comma nine, and we need that the distance from the, the center to the edge point on the circle is nine. But if I look at the distance between the center and the origin, which is zero, zero, nine, nine, and nine root two, nine root two is like square root of 162, which is larger than the radius, meaning that the center should be, um, I mean, the, the origin should be the left of the circle and a bit like lower than this uh, side, I guess. So based on that kind of reasoning, we can, we can draw the X and Y axis to see how things will look like. So maybe I can have, y and x, something like this. Just to be clear, you know, what I just meant, said was that this is a zero, zero, and then this is the center of the circle, which is nine comma nine. And when you kind of take the distance between this to the, the circumference, that's nine units, right? And then if you do kind of the, um, I mean, the distance between this to x axis is nine units and then the y axis is also nine units. So if you make a right triangle, so that this, the hypotenuse will be nine root two, which is larger than radius, so which is why we do know the, this, the, the origin has to be not inside of the circle. It has to be outside basically. So now we, we kind of need to see what region we are interested, right? So what we are looking for is the the region that is y and x is positive value so which is why it has to be 
So this distance, this is going to be both positive for the ideal coordinate. But also, we do have the, the small arc right here. That's also part of the, the length that we are interested in. But the question is, how do we how do we get these, right? And then we even don't really know if I connect the center to these uh, corners, we don't really know the angle gonna be like uh, inscribed by this arc, which is not really obvious. So if I kind of connect these, so let me try this again. If I connect these, I may find this point if I want to, if I need to, and then if I connect these as well, right? So what we just need is the angle measure right here and the angle measure right there. So if I if I can find those two angles somehow, then I can find those uh the arc in green, right? So what we can do, maybe we can drop the perpendicular distance from the, the center to the, the course. So if I drop this perpendicular, and if I drop this perpendicular, right? So this is gonna be 90 degrees, and this is gonna be 90 degrees. So like if, since this is the equation of the circle, so if I wanna find the this intersection, I can just like plug zero for X or Y to get the, the intercept. So let's go down, plug X is zero. If this is zero, that will be, 81 plus this guy, so which will give us y minus nine uh, squared is equal to 108 minus 81, which is 27. If you take the square root, so y minus nine would be plus or minus three root three. And then the y value would be plus or minus three root three plus nine. So this point would be, uh, the positive version, and then this point will be negative. And if I do the same thing with the, the x value, so you will get these two as well, the same numbers as the, the y x, like y intercepts. So why this is important? Because like, for example, if I take this point, which is gonna be negative three root three plus nine, and then this is uh, uh, three root three plus nine, and then that's the y coordinate. And since we know the, you know, like we know this is nine units. So let's keep, I mean, yeah, this is nine units. And then this is also nine units. And the radius was uh, this six root three. So let's keep this in mind. Again, maybe I should have done this anyway, but I just got it. So it wasn't actually needed. So we have nine and six root three. If I use a Pythagorean in this triangle, I can find this leg, or I can see that this is gonna be like, like if I take the, uh, yeah, this guy, which is 108 squared and then sub subtract 81, which is gonna be 27. So meaning that this is gonna be root 27, three root three is this segment. And since this is equal, this is also six root, like three root three, but we have a really nice triangle right here, which is our uh, 36 and 90. So we can just go ahead and label that as one of the angles. This is also 30 degrees. And the same reasoning, this is 30, this is 30. And since we know this is a, a rectangle, even a square, so since this is 30, this is 30, that means this angle is also 30 degrees. Since we have five thirties, which is 150, remaining part should be 210. So meaning that this arc right here is inscribed by the 210 degrees, and then we just need this piece as well, which is 30 degrees. So if you combine those two, you got 240. 240 degrees out of 360 is what we are interested. And if you multiply this by circumference, two pi times radius, radius is six root three, you do get the sum of these two, the green arcs. But we know that at the beginning, I said, this is just the region for both positive, right? If I just do X is positive, Y is negative. So I will get the similar image on the this region. If I do X is negative, Y is positive then I will get something in this second quadrant with same like uh, the length for the arc. And if I do both negative, I will get a third quadrant. If you don't believe, so you can always um, kind of uh, use a calculator, graphing calculator to see how that looks like, but without really using that, so we can just make this reasoning. So meaning that as soon as I have this guy, so I can just multiply this by four to get the total uh, length of this graph. 
So this is two third. And I can cancel this three and this two. So two, two, two is eight. Eight times four is 32. So that's 32 pi and root three. And that is my final answer. So again, it wasn't too obvious, but um, as soon as you kind of play with the numbers and see how that looks like, so it wasn't really too challenging, especially for number 29 on the national test. So that was actually fair. Um, I do remember we kind of seen something similar to this question in the state level as well. So if you look at the state competition for this year, I think it was either 29 or something like that. It was similar to this uh, kind of stuff. It wasn't really circle, but uh, the approach was kind of similar. So you can take a look at that as well. Anyways, I'll see you in the next video.